Hello guys, how are we getting on? My name is Aaron Kelly and welcome back to Crinkle Bottoms Crusaders. I know it's been a while between the two seasons and uh, to be honest the main reason for that is I've been very very busy so and these videos are big videos and I just didn't want to oversaturate the channel with with Crinkle Bottoms Crusaders content because I don't want you guys to get bored of it and quite frankly I don't want to get bored of it myself. So we're back, we're champions of the League of Ireland despite the very anticlimactic end of the season being the fact that we didn't get to see an actual trophy lift which was just mildly frustrating. But as we do at the beginning of every episode, at the end, at the beginning of every season rather, we look back at the, the sign-ins we have made off camera and it's not too many this time round. I did have uh, a young man called Tiernan come up to me during the week and ask me to sign Ronaldo. And I said, it's not going to happen as much as it would be cool to have Ronaldo in a Crinkle Bottoms Crusaders jersey. It's just not going to happen. So sorry, Tiernan. But uh, instead, we have signed uh, two or three kind of squad players. Ladies and gentlemen, we signed a right back who looks just like John Arnarisa. And his name is Gonzalo Arce. <laughs> I am a fucking 12-year-old. It's probably Gonzalo Arce or, or Arce or something, but... I'd be lying to you if I said the, the main reason we didn't sign him was because his name was Gonzalo Ars, and, and that is it. And in fairness, 66 rated, he's a solid right back option, he's still not as good as Andy Lyons. But he's only 18, he's from Argentina, Gonzalo Arce, he does look like John Arnarisa. Uh, if you want us to call him Arce or Arce, let me know your thoughts in the comments, but Arce is just a little bit funnier, isn't it? Uh, we've also signed former Stoke City centre midfielder Janelli Imbula, 30 years of age, 68 rated, he was a free agent so we kind of thought Fuck it, why not? We know that name. And we thought maybe he might come in and he might be better than the likes of Dawson Dubai and Ani Valakari. He's actually not. He's actually going to be warming the bench at the beginning of this season. I feel like this fellow was new as well. I can't remember. It's that long ago since we made the signings. But Olivier Yaboa, 17-year-old uh, centre midfielder, can play anywhere across the centre of midfield. Cam, CM and CDM. He is from Ghana and he's only 17. So that could be a very solid signing for the future. Again, just kind of... Trying to stock up the squad, you know, we've got season three now, we've got Champions League football. Although the way the League of Ireland works, I'm not sure if we'll get to play Champions League football in this season because it takes place um, in like towards the end of the season, I believe. Uh, we'll probably have to go champion through Champions League qualifiers. Anyway, I, I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. We're going to try and defend our title anyway. The hope is that I don't actually have to play too many games this season because I would hope the squad is uh, pretty, pretty, you know, pretty good and, you know, good enough to win the league again. We've got a lot of scout reports back from fellas that realistically we're not going to sign because the transfer budget is a little bit scuffed. But let's go into the media room, shall we? For the first press conference of the new season. There he is, the man himself, Nigel Crinklebottom, ready to answer the media's bullshit. Everybody's making a title race, how are you feeling, blah blah blah. Uh, can your boys challenge for the title? We believe we can do it again. We believe we have the sauce. It's a big fixture to kick off the new season, Derry City will be very strong. Uh, the boys know what they have to do. You know, we're a little bit cocky at this point because we did win the league by about 74 points last year, so... You know, we've room to be cocky. Will you stick with Devoy? I mean, yeah, of course, mate, but Devoy is a player, is a big player for us at Crusaders. He is. He is. All right. Fair enough. Do we play the first game of the season or do we try and do a little visual sim on it? We'll, we'll, we'll visual sim. We'll visual sim. And a throw in to come. Kavanaugh. Uh-oh. Well, that didn't take too long, did it? McElhenney scored, and we're 1-0 down. Not a great start to the season. I will say, like, despite winning the league by as much as we did last year, uh, we didn't actually finish the season that well. So maybe we don't have as much room to be cocky as you would think. Villanueva, are you going to do it again? Nah, maybe not now. Not now, not ever. Nakai, and that is going to be a throw-in. Oh, Valakari, that's an ass of a pass. I make a rhyme any time. Afua on the turn, and that is saved by Maher. Stay onside, Villanueva, thank you. Carlo Villanueva, big chance for the equaliser, and a save by Maher. Nigel, I like that jacket, but I don't like the way the team is playing at the minute. Uh-oh, 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 get up, Wilk! Oh my god, man, that should have been 2 0. Kavanaugh really should have scored. Oh! Wilk is not tracking that runner very well. But it's alright because Demo is always going to be there to bail you out with shite. 
Alright, well that's not a very fucking encouraging first half, boys. I'm not going to lie to you. I did not expect us to be losing on the first day of the season to Derry City. I really didn't. Alright, let's cut the shit in the second half and just get the job done. Valakari, we know we can hit them. Oh, very close. Very close to another Valakari banger. Fast. There's the space. A foot rifle. Oh, Dumbigan blocked it. It clearly wasn't Dumbigan. I would have fouled in the box, but anyway. Boy, Dawson DeVoy. Go on, Demo. Get your head on it. <laughs> Jesus, he got some power on that header. Lemon. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Maybe don't do that again, Demo. <laughs> Just a bit of a word of advice. You know, nothing. You're the you're a professional player and all of that, but uh, Christ. Oh fuck. Oh my God, that touch was fucking shit. Pavoli, you got away with one there, lad. You would have been hauled. Vass, it's Lemon! Yes! Come on! He continued the run from the back! And with 15 minutes to go, Crinkle Bottles Crusaders are level on opening night! And it's the captain again! Come on! What a finish as well. We were giving out about shooting ability earlier on in the game, but that is a beautiful finish from Demo. Little flick from Vass. Beautiful! Demo! Demo! Chanelli and Bula's only 30. At this point in the game, in 2023. I thought he was much older. I thought he was well over the hill. Oi, referee! Do we do a straight from the training ground one? Off of Vass! Brilliant! Oh my god, what a goal! What a strike! Straight from the training ground! Like I said, Otto Vass, nine minutes to go. Crinkle Bottoms Crusaders have turned it around. Unreal. What a goal, man. What a goal. See, this is what I can't actually take free kicks in this game. I don't know how they work. Still, you know, I've tried to learn. I really have. Go on, your boy. Afua. Oh, I should have shot. I should have shot. I should have shot. Fucked it. Fucked it. Fucked it. Love you, Crusaders. We do. Love you, Crusaders. We do. Oh, Nigel, we love you. Oh no! <laughs> Pavola, you're fucking treading a very tight rope at the minute. We're in stoppage time. Get it out. Get it up the fucking pitch. Get it out the fucking pitch. And there you go. That's all she wrote. Open night ends in a win for the Crusaders. And they left it late. Again. Damien Lemon, Otto Vass. Thank you very much. First three points of the season. 3-3. Three, three. That's not a great result, to be honest. Vass, Devoy and Nakai. Hmm. I'm not liking the fact that we're not winning games when I'm simulating. Alright, we've got Harps next. Could do it a win. Okay, 1-0. Joe Marafua scored after 8 minutes. Villanueva missed a penalty. Why was why was Villanueva taking the penalty? That's the question I'd have to ask. Longford Town next. Yes, we do. Vass with 2. Janelli Mbula with a goal. His first goal for the club. And Joe Marafua for 2. Nice, nice, nice. Right, next up we got the Schlegel boys. The Schlegel boys, man. Do it a dub. Gives a dub. 2-0. Dawson DeVoy at the double. Yeah, this is more like it. This is what I'm liking, right. Shamrock Rovers. Hmm. Kind of feel like playing this game. Go for a visual sim. So if we're still not winning after an hour, I might jump in because I would like to win. And playing games makes for better content, obviously. Hit it. Hit it. Yes, we're one up. Joe Marafua has scored. And we're leading. Come on, the boys. Oh, it's 2 0. Villanueva has scored. And that might be enough to get us over the finish line. I'm going to jump to result. 3 0. Andy Lyons against Shamrock Rovers as well. well that's not going to go down well. That's not going to go down well. Right, moving on. A massive dub for the boys there. Kind of a weird top four at the minute. Uh, Crusaders aside, you got Finn Harris, Waterford. And Longford, um, pretty pretty special that. Uh, Nigel has one manager of the month. We're going to quick sim this game against Dundalk. Easy dubs. Jean Marafua and Carlo Villanueva. Thanks very much. Thanks for coming. Crusaders keep winning. Can we go unbeaten this season? That is a question and a half. Quick sim. Don't lose now after me saying it. Two one. Otto Vass and Jean Marafua. Thank you very much. All right. Who's next? Bowls. Don't see them in the top six. Surely we can beat them with a quick sim. Yes, we can. And it's Dawson DeVoy. Man, I swear every... I swear Dawson DeVoy doesn't score any other time of the fucking year until we're playing bowls. Like, genuinely, I think he just... He saves his goals for when we're playing bowls. I won't complain. I won't complain. Pats, who are fifth. It's away. Could be a sticky one still. We're going to sim this one. 
and see how we do. Oh my god, we're 1-0 down and Forrester has scored. That is not a great picture of Forrester, if we're being honest. But I'm going to jump in, because we're losing. I was considering jumping in anyway, because I kind of want to play the game. And, uh, you know, I haven't had an opportunity to play that much, because, I mean, we're winning every game. But anyway, we're losing now. Now we've got to try and turn it around. I mean, it's probably a bit of a stretch at this point to say that, you know, we're going to go on a good Champions League run this year. But uh, I do think... Could we go invincible in the League of Ireland? Oh! I had it under control. Did you? I presume you did. Oh, that's not a great tackle. That is not a good one from Devoy. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh! That was shit! Otto Vass from range. Oh. Villanueva. Afua. Ah, fuck. 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 Alright, we're losing at half time, but you know what, this is no fucking biggie. The Crusaders were losing with 15 minutes left in the opening game against Derry. So, you know, we can do this. But he's found Vass who finds a fool. Ambo! Get it. Ah! Oh, we're trying to fucking fanny person. That's what I call that. Oh, shit, Cocklin, what a block. No. Oh my fucking god, we are up against it right now. Can I make any changes? Vass. Mbula! Oh, great strike, follow up! Ah, oh, shit! Oh, Andy, that's not a great tackle, that's not a great tackle. Neyland. Ah, ref! Fitzsimmons, good ball. It's Yabua! Oh, he's at the bar! No! Still there! Mbula! Yaboa! Oh, that's a shite effort! No! It's going away! It's going away! Ah, oh, that's so fucking annoying. How is there only a minute added on? You're having a laugh, referee. You're having a fucking laugh, Seamus. Alright, oh, well, you know. Sometimes you just can't go invincible, boys. Oh, and Bula's whinging about his game time. Uh, you threatening us now? You're still in contention. Bowls, which means probably a customary Dawson Devoy goal. Is that right? 4-1. He did get one. He got two. Uh, and Vass and Villanueva. The two Vs with the goals. 4-1. I mean, bowls are dusty at this point, boys. Okay, we have a bit of a, a gap there. We've got a derby against Longford Town. Do we play this because it's the derby? Nah, fuck it. We'll quick sim it. Quick sim it. Nil nil. Jesus. Alright. Fair enough. Alright, I see you. I see you. Valkyrie, sorry boss, but I've got to say my piece. I hate being subbed off at the best of times, but that last game, I'm absolutely convinced I could have turned the game into. I, I simulated the game. That night could have done. My hands were tight. Right, this is a top of the table clash. We'll play this one against Finn Harps. Bula, fuck off. What is he crying about now? I'll think about it. I'll think about it. You're probably not going to be in the team, if we're being honest with ourselves. I mean, we could give him a goal and start Falakari on the on the right. Because Villanueva's not really been doing it so far this season. So, fuck it. We'll do that. We'll give him Bula a goal. All right. I'd say if we get a win here, we're, we're laughing. We're laughing. Uh, just deal with that, Andy. Oh. That was lucky. That was lucky. Bula, good ball. Oh, ref! He's got a go! He's got a go! He's last man! See you later, Dunleavy! Bye-bye! <laughs> See you later. No way the referee could have done anything anything different there. What a start to the game. Red card for Finn Harps. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh! Good save. Good save, Orshan. Oh my god, you're in, son. You're in. He's got the pace for sure. Can he keep his composure? Oh, he can! What a strike! Joe Marafua gives Crinkle Bottoms Crusaders the lead, and that is ridiculous. I thought I'd made a mistake there by hitting the circle button too early. But fuck me, what a goal. What a finish. That is a ridiculous goal. Holy shit. Uh-oh. Orjan. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant keeper. That was a good cross shot. Nakai? I, I don't know. If he's not careful, he's gonna get dropped and Yaboa will be in. It's competition for places now. Just because you're over 65 rated doesn't automatically make you a starter anymore. Do you know what I mean? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh my god. Big save. Big save. Home fans are getting rowdy. Oh my god, Neyland again. Back to me. Oh no.
that was possibly as shit an equaliser as we could have ever hoped to concede. Our passing has been fairly washed so far, I can't lie. And we are level at half time. I mean, I suppose a draw wouldn't be the worst result considering we are already, what, three or four points ahead at the top of the table anyway. But you want to fucking win every game, boys. You know? And Bula is going to fall for a Fua! Oh, big save. That would have been a lucky goal. A four. Fua Lemon! Oh my god. I thought he was going to try a Boise for a minute. Jesus, that was a strange pass. Just kind of hit Lemon in his manly chest. That's, I, I mean, I'll give it to Harps. They're knocking it around well here. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. That is a ridiculous save. That is a ridiculous save. I tell you what, boys. Only for Orjan, we could be in terrible trouble in this game. Nakai. Okay, that's it. He's done, man. He's gone. He's gone. Get him out. Get him out. Get him out. Get your boa in. Get him in the team, man. Bula, man. You're very close to coming off as well. Oh, God. They're passing around us. Jesse. Oh, my God. Big save. Big fucking save, man. It's, it's only about to carry. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, fuck. We needed that. Oh, Oni. Oni Valakari. You can never, you can never doubt that Valakari will get himself a goal. Uh... Big block, big block. Arse, that's not a good fucking header. Ah, I'm stressed. Jesse, stop. Please, please, more of those. More of those. As many as you want. Bula, hit it. Oh, what a goal! What a goal! Janelli and Bula announces himself at Crinkle Bottoms Crusaders, and that is game over. That is what he's been brought in to do. I mean, I don't think Janelli and Bula's ever scored a goal like that, but he has now. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. I'm happy I didn't take him off now. What a goal, man. What a goal. Take a boo, son. I mean that. Take a boo. Oh, that was stressful. That was stressful. Yes, boy. We win the top of the table clash. It was a lot tighter than I thought it was going to be. But two second half goals. That is some haircut on the Finn Harps manager. Holy fuck. Gonzalo Ars makes his debut. Valakari scores again. And Janelli and Bula wraps it up. In the most brilliant fashion. What a game. What a goal. What a team. Oh, holy shit, man. We needed that. We needed that. A big, big win. Against second in the table as well. Oh, what, what you got to say now, Janelli? Hey, Gavin. Thanks for listening to me. And say I really appreciate your chance to play well. I'm in such a good form. Well, you know, keep it up. You know, keep keep scoring bangers like that. And you'll be, you'll, you'll be in my team. I'll tell you that much. Right, we've got Waterford next. Who have since dropped out of the top three. They were in there for quite a long time. Uh, quick sim on that. 2-1. Afua and Lions. Thank you very much. You know what? I'm actually going to check change up my team a wee bit and put uh, Villanueva on the Percy and get Valakari uh, on there and I'm going to give Ginelli the starting spot he has it now, he has it, can he hold on to it now we match against Dury 2 undefeat. defeat, well, that's not great Joe Marafu has got another goal though he's got to be up near the top uh, goal scorers in the league at this point if we can have a look, uh, 9 goals not too bad uh, Gaffer, I know you have your reasons for making your decision but what was that all about, subbing me off Again! I, I I was simulating the game. I didn't rig those charges. Alright, we lost to Derry. I took him Bula off. He had an old cry about it, but whatever. Uh, Rover's up next. Uh, I mean, we absolutely smashed them the last time, so hopefully we can do the same here. Another loss. That's two on the fucking... Um, an 89th minute winner from a fella called Whore. We're still seven points clear. I mean, that's that's not bad going at all. we got Schleigo next. Uh, please don't make it three defeats on the trot or else we're going to have to be hitting some slaps. 3-0. Thank you very much. Otto Vass, Valakari and Nakai Mata did miss a penalty, but... Who cares? Who cares? I certainly don't. Being in the transfer market now, what do we have? Uh, progress assessment, okay. Uh, we've got a 6.56 million budget for this window. Uh, we will go off camera and see what what we can do with the squad. I mean, look, we're, we're currently 10 points clear, about midway through the season. It's not looking bad at all. But uh, we have, we will have Champions League coming up. That is a qualifier against Olympiacos. That will be coming up in the next episode of Crinkle Bottoms Crusaders. But season three has started off with a bang. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, 
make sure to slap a like on it and subscribe if you're new and uh, let me know how excited you are for the new season in the comment section down below and uh, yeah we'll see you next time take care and good luck